I'm Dave Donaldson, welcome to Grip Tips. Today we talk about CTO versus CTB. Learning white balance is very, very important and it'll help you communicate better with your team. Um, I know that this is a very confusing topic for a lot of you out there, but I tried the best I could to make this episode so that it'll better train your eye to see different color tones. There are two different types of white balance. There's 3200 degrees Kelvin, which is color temperature orange, or also known as tungsten. And then there's 5600 degrees Kelvin, which is also known as color temperature blue, or daylight. 3200 degrees Kelvin is usually what you would find inside of a household. It's got a very orange tint to it, versus daylight at 5600 degrees Kelvin is kind of a blue color. So let's dive into this and see how we can start to look at light a lot differently. Here's a shot of both my bathroom on the right and my bedroom on the left. You can see that the left is orange and the right is blue. That's because the color temp in my bedroom is 3200 degrees Kelvin and my bathroom is 5600 degrees Kelvin. But we want them to match so that the contrast in the two colors isn't distracting to our viewer. In order to have an even color temp, we need to decide which color is best. For me, I'm going to say daylight. So I'll set my camera for daylight at a color temperature which is 5600 degrees Kelvin, or CTB or daylight. As you can see, my bathroom looks more like white and my bedroom has gotten a lot more orange. In order to have my bedroom match my bathroom, I need to correct the lamp lighting in my bedroom from CTO, or color temperature orange, to color temperature blue, or CTB. So I will throw a full CTB gel in front of the light and now my rooms are matching much more, creating less of a distraction. Okay, so now that we've matched everything inside of our scene with daylight color temperature, let's do the exact opposite. Let's have the match with nothing but CTO. Color temperature orange, 3200 degrees Kelvin, tungsten, enough words. So now I'm going to set my camera for 3200 degrees Kelvin, and you notice that everything got extremely blue. So in order to achieve the white balance of 3200 degrees Kelvin, we need to pull the blue gels off the lights that we are using. Because of the lights that we're already using are already CTO, color temperature orange, 3200 degrees, tungsten. Now I don't have any 5600 degree Kelvin lights, but what we do have is outside, which as we learned earlier, 5600 degrees Kelvin is daylight. All right, now for this scene, we're outside where it's 5600 degrees Kelvin. But if you notice on my face, there's like an orange tinge that we're trying to get rid of, but we do still want the light hitting my face. So for this, we need to make sure that our light is matching the outside color temperature, which is 5600 degrees Kelvin. But since we have our light, which is blasting 3200 degrees Kelvin, we need to correct that with a full CTB gel. And now that I put the gel in front of the light, you can see that I'm now matching the rest of the scenery inside of my shot. Now as a last example, let's go crazy. Let's mix both color temperatures for an effect. I want to give my actor a bluish rim light, but a fill light with the right color temperature. If our camera is set to 3200 degrees Kelvin, I can light the front of my actor with a tungsten bulb because it's 3200 degrees Kelvin. Then behind him, I will add a light with a CTB color temperature blue daylight 5600 degrees Kelvin gel. So now the front of him is CTO color temperature orange tungsten and the back of him is CTB color temperature blue daylight. Which is a really neat effect because now we've added color contrast to our actor going from a perfect white balance to a blue. Boom. Right? Right. If that's really confusing, trust me, we all get it. We, we've all been there. I don't think there's been one person who has just automatically been like, oh, makes sense right off the bat. But if you watch this a few times, you'll actually get the hang of it and then you'll start walking around your house and you'll realize that certain bulbs are colored a certain way and then you'll really go insane because nothing matches in your house. Congratulations to you. I will be contacting you very, very soon. Um, as for the rest of you, please don't get discouraged. I'll have plenty of other giveaways on the way. Uh, if this is your first time watching Grip Tips and you like the show, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I update every week. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. Or you can follow me on my Twitter right here. And uh, until then, we'll see you every Friday right here on Grip Tips. Close your eyes.